Thanks. Well, do you have any idea how you got here? No. What's the last thing you remember? Nothing. I went to bed in my shithole apartment and woke up in an actual shithole. Lee Winnell, hello. Hello. So, how are you? It, it, apparently, Saw has just become, which is the horror film and franchise that you created, is it officially become the most successful horror franchise in history? I don't know. I haven't received any documentation or well, anything in the mail. The Queen. Yeah, I don't. I'm waiting for that fax <laughs> that says. Yeah, haven't you been given the keys to the city yet? Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess it would be fair to say that you are the most successful Australian horror filmmaker in history. It's a niche market, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, I've, well, managed, I've managed to. <laughs> Beat it back. There you go. Now, uh, if there's people like me that haven't actually uh, seen Saw, the Saw franchise. Um, I've seen Dying Bree, which is... Do you want to apologise? Otherwise known as people I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> people you won't talk to. On you wouldn't show. have liked yeah. him anyway, don't worry. I wasn't allowed to watch horror films as a child, so I wasn't indoctrinated into this. And I, I tell you, the, the most I could do was read through the Wikipedia entries of Saw, and they freaked me out. <laughs> He's a gentle soul. Yeah. What? It's too in here. When these stories hit uh, Australia, that <laughs> right. that you had gone to LA, like so many people do, right. trying to be a filmmaker, and everybody goes, "Ah, oh, yeah, well, we'll see how that happens." <laughs> how how did you approach it? Because so many people try and do it and fail, and you succeeded. We'd, we'd finished uni, you know, we'd finished film school, and went through a few years where we were under the mistaken belief that we could write any script and get it funded. So we had scripts with demons and special effects, and then, funnily enough, we didn't really get any interest, and finally we were like, you know, if, we, if we're going to make a film, we're going to have to pay for it ourselves. And Blair Witch had just come out, so it was inspiring. Mm -hmm. So we're like, okay, we need a script set in one room, and that we thought up a film about two guys in a toilet, basically. <laughs> and funnily enough, this guy in the States was like, come over and let's talk about it. Saw was hugely successful and has continued to be hugely successful. Did you think it was always going to be that way? No, not at all. <laughs> it, the plan was that we were going to shoot it on video and then maybe our big hope was we would get into, like, the Melbourne Film Festival. <laughs> and that was going to be our big thing. And we, were, and we were like, and then someone will see it and we'll make a real movie. Did you get the colour? Oh. What is it, rust? It's not rust. It's more like blood. At least I went into Dying Breed knowing it was a horror. <laughs> I, went into, I went into Wolf Creek and I swear to God, I had not read any press on it. I just went in just thinking it was like a, a American Pie style. Drama Creek. <laughs> yeah. I used to love the videos in, in, the, in, uh, in the 80s that were banned in Queensland. <laughs> <laughs> there was a yellow sticker on it and it said banned in Queensland. Yeah. Silent yeah. Night, Deadly Night. Yeah. Banned in Queensland. Really? They couldn't have had more of a sticker, a more of a, a seal of approval. Yeah, yeah. They'd go in the store and be like, let's get this, it's banned in Queensland. <laughs> Of course, you're in, uh, in Australia at the moment promoting a new film. Yeah, um, Dying Breed, which is an Australian horror film. I was trying to sort of get away from... Uh, <laughs> um, it's the Michael Corleone thing. Every time I think I'm out, yeah. <laughs> pull me back. Like you've gone from the small, darkly lit rooms <laughs> yeah. to some of the most beautiful country in the world in Tasmania. Right. There's something out there in the trees. Yeah, doggy, 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 doggy. Do you just love being that scared? That scared the shit out of me. No, that's just the audio. I was just going to say, you're not going to see that clip after the words, and the nominees are. Yeah. <laughs> basically, ah, don't kill me. The, the basis of the story is this actual guy, Alexander Pierce, who was a convict in Tasmania who escaped with a few other convicts and then, of course, you know, wandered into the Tasmanian wilderness. He, he escaped from also from the, 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 the most isolated and apparently unescapable uh, prison camp as yeah, well. Yeah, he did. Right? He got out and he, yeah. he ended up having to basically eat his fellow prisoners. Having so, to or choosing to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's the story of the film. It, it sort of takes place in modern times with mm. the descendants of Alexander Pierce are still around mm. and they still retain his taste for eating. Yeah. <laughs> he was hungry. He was very hungry. You wake up in the middle of the yeah. night and your friend's gnawing on your ankle. Yeah. And how do you get out of that one? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I uh, <laughs> thought your sock was a uh, hey, lamb chop. Uh, Lee Winnell, congratulations. It's oh, always great to see thanks you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, see an Australian do so well overseas. Yeah. Thanks, 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 mate. Thanks. Thank you, guys. So you're going to watch yourself die today, Adam? Or do something about it? Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Great to see you again. Great to see you again too, Robbie. See you later. Take Thanks, care. <laughs>